see the road. I really hope that I make it down this hill. This is a very steep hill. You can't tell in the video and it is pure ice. This is not fun. But the Kia did pretty well. Thank you, Kia. Now to make it up the other side. <laughs> yeah. All-wheel drive being awesome. Yes. Made that hill like nothing. That's awesome. So I haven't started making videos yet of my uh, Kia Stinger, but I'm going to start this morning because it is pure ice. It is literally like driving on a skating rink. Um, I've got a 2023 Kia Stinger GT2. And um, <clears throat> first time driving it in the winter. I've already got 8,000 miles on this car. I drive 160 miles a day to work and uh, as you can see the roads they're literally it's like driving on a skating rink um, even with all-wheel drive I'm I'm struggling to get going a little bit and uh, got to leave plenty of room stopping fortunately these people that live in this area know how to drive pretty well it's in the snow belt Turn left and uh, road. unlike other places when you get your first snow and ice there's people wrecking everywhere but you can see how see how I he just hit the brakes and you know I'm doing like 15 20 and the car is sliding on uh, just before I started this miles. video there was a I'd made a turn in town and the road um, at that part is angled quite steeply and it literally caused my car to slide into the curb so these tires are brand new they're Michelin's they're good tires uh, you know like some people say there's nothing that'll work well on ice um, and in situations like that <laughs> you know unless you got chains or uh, studs it's not gonna work real well so one thing that I am noticing too is that because they made this Stinger rear wheel, um, you know, action more than the front drive, front wheel drive, uh, because it is a sport car, that does have a tendency in this ice to cause that back end to start kicking out before the all wheel kicks in. And uh, so you got to be prepared for that a little bit. It's not bad. Uh, but, you know, if you've driven rear-wheel drives, you know when you first get going how that rear end will come out on you. And that's what this will do, uh, even in the eco mode. I mean, you can look at this. I mean, I'm hitting my analog brakes, and it's just sliding, sliding, sliding. And one thing I'm noticing about these analog brakes is the car had a, has a tendency to go this way and that way. Now... That may be because of how icy it is. I mean, it is, I can't, uh, this video does not do it justice how icy it is. It is literally, I'm driving on ice. And I mean, I am going three miles per hour and I am sliding. So I'm actually gonna wait for this guy to see if he stops. Nope, he, he didn't make it. And that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, so I stopped. He literally just slid through the intersection. And had I gone, he might have just crashed right into me. These guys in these four-wheel drive trucks, you know, they have a tendency to drive like maniacs in this weather. They think that uh, they're invincible. They got the big four-wheel drive and blah, blah, blah. Got my diesel. <laughs> So, anyways, watch out for those pickup trucks. So, I'm going to do uh, all hands on the wheel here. Rest of my commute. Now I make it 
hope I make it without any incidents. A little upset that I slid into that curve. Hope I didn't do any damage to the rims. I wasn't going fast, but you know, doesn't take much. So, uh, so far the all wheel drive in this Kia Stinger is doing pretty well. Um, in all honesty, if, if I only had front wheel drive, there are places that I'd really be struggling right now to get going. There was an intersection where I went to get on to a uh, rural highway coming off of a side road and it's uh, a little hill. And even with the all wheel drive, it, it was spinning. I don't think that I could have made it with uh, front wheel drive um, unless I had snow tires. I've driven in this stuff my entire life. And uh, my last car was a Grand Prix front wheel drive. I drove 100 miles a day in the snow belt with that. I did put snow tires on it. Um, and as long as the road was level, you know, I honestly had no issues. It's when you get into these hills that uh, you can start having problems. But all right, just uh, wanted to start off reviewing this Kia. I'm sure I'm going to be putting more out. Letting everybody know about this car. I, I think this car is phenomenal. I, I honestly, I think it may be the best car on the road. It is just, it does a little bit of everything. It is an everything car. And uh, I am liking it a lot. But hands on the road here. Try to got uh, 20 more miles out of my 76 mile commute to get to work. <laughs> 